Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss how to set up replication in Mongo database. So you can check my previous video where I have discussed how replication works in Mongo database. Here we will see how to configure it in a real environment. So in an ideal system, we will be keeping the replica sets in different servers, say server A, B, C. For my example, I will be using a single server and I will keep folders A, B, C to represent different servers. We will be running each instance on different ports because I will be running all the instances on the same server. The real scenario when the replica sets are on different servers, all the instances can have the same port number. There is a replica set name given to all these instances. I will keep the replica set name as RS0. This is a configuration document example. We will have underscore ID as the replica set name in our case RS0 and members with each members host name and port and other options. And we will use rs.initiate to start the replication. To start off, I will create three folders server A, server B, and server C to represent three servers where the replica sets are running. Moving to the first folder, here I will run a Mongo instance on port 27001. I will give db path as the current folder path. I have given the log path and I'll keep the repel set name as RS0 and I'll start it as a fork to run it in background. Now let's do the same for other two folders. I'll just change the port number and the paths. The repel set name will be same because these are part of the same replication. Now to start the third server, I'll use the config file. You can mention the replication YAML format like this. You can provide the REPL set name. It is in our case, it's R0. So I'll start it. Now if I grab for Mongo instances, you can see there is one each for server A server B and server C and the REPL set name for all is RS0. Another way of starting your instances is by using minus minus master parameter for the instance which you want as master minus minus slave with the details of your primary to start the secondary nodes. Now let us log in to our first instance that is which we started on port 27001. I'll prepare my config document so I have added the underscore ID as the replica set name and I have added the different members with the details of each host. Now I will initiate the replication using rs.initiate. I will provide configuration as the parameter. So you can see the replication has initiated. You can check the status of our replication using rs.status command. So it will give a lot of information. For example, we can check what is the replication set name, when did it start, what is its current state, 2 means that it is secondary node, if it was 1 it means it's primary, if it's 8 it means it's down. Then we can check the heartbeat intervals, the op time. There is also information regarding each members. So there are a lot of things to evaluate using rs.status. I'll give more details on this when we discuss replication monitoring in my next video. Now if I log into the port 27002, we can see that it is our primary node. rs.conf will let us know the current configuration of our replication set. So this is the detail about our current configuration. We can check if it is an arbiter or a hidden node and about what its priority, if there is a slave delay provided etc. Now I can save the value of my rs.conf into a variable like this and can print individual data which I want. So for example, for my first member, if I want to see the priority, you can see the priority is 1. Now say if I want to make some changes to the present configuration, I can edit this variable. Say I am setting it to 2 and then I can use rs.1 
reconfig and pass on this variable so now if I check rs.con you can see for my member with id 0 the priority has changed to 2 my member 0 that is localhost 27001 will now be the primary and the current one will step down to secondary you can check which one is the master or the primary by using rs.ismaster primary so here it is localhost 27001 is the primary and if you want to know which is the current node which you are using you can use rs.ismaster me if I try to read something from this for example to show the database on this I'll get an error that it's not master and slave ok is false so to read from a secondary node we need to run slave ok on the secondary node now I can read the data from the secondary node other than the config document which we used in rs.conf we can also use a simple method like rs.add and provide the host name and port I can also add a node as an arbiter by using add arb method and providing the host name and port we can remove a particular node by using rs.remove and providing the host name and port we can step down the primary by using rs dot step down so you can see the primary has now become secondary so there is lot more to discuss about replication this was just a basic overview of how to configure your replication i'll be discussing more of mongo replication in my next videos hope this information was helpful to you Thank you for watching my video.